Happy Monday morning, rainy Monday morning, everybody. It's Pen Live Opinion Editor John Mysick. Welcome to another installment of the Pen Live Five. Five questions, five minutes, give or take, with uh, top news and policymaker. We're joined today by State Representative Greg Rothman, running for re-election in the 87th District, a Republican. Greg, thank you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Let us start the clock. House comes back into session on Wednesday. Your number one legislative priority. Wow. Well, mine is some transportation issues. We've got some uh, work zone safety. Uh, there's a bill that's uh, gone back and forth to the House and Senate, so it's now in the Senate. We're open. The Senate does it. We've got a local radar bill to allow local missile, missile police to use radar, the same radar that uh, the state police has. So it has to do with work zone safety. And we know in this area there's a lot of accidents. And the most important um, goal for the highway workers is to come home safely today. So that's my priority. Uh, on a bigger picture, we've got to do something about the, the indictment, or something about the report on the priest scandal at Catholic Church. Uh, I know there's bills dealing with regulatory reform. There's some um, housekeeping stuff that we've, you know, we're waiting on from, you know, we didn't do earlier this summer. So, so How optimistic are you on statute of limitations reform? The Senate's obviously a pretty, big, a pretty big obstacle. Well, the House passed it. Yes. So it's, you know, I, I've, I'm still trying to figure out how the House works. I have no idea how the Senate works. So. Uh, I mean, I'm hoping they do it. We need to do something. If you read the report, you say we got to do something. So. You and I have seen that local radar bill come and go for years, years and years, years. Years, years, years and years now. Why do you think your chances are any better this time around? Well, so I, I took the objections that people had in this, to the Senate bill and went around to House members and said, why are you opposed to this? And uh, I've got a majority of the vote in the committee, uh, and so it's not for revenue generation. Gener it can't be used for revenue generation. Uh, the police have to be marked. Um, what we really want to do is change the way people drive, especially in the Camp Hill Bypass, where a woman was killed right in December at 6 o'clock in the morning by some going 70 miles an hour, and her dogs were killed too. So it's a change behavior. So I'm optimistic because I crafted a bill that would meet those objections. You're running for your second term. What's your 60-second elevator pitch when you knock on somebody's door? Uh, I, I tell them I'm there working for you and fighting for you. Uh, I feel like I'm getting some stuff done. Um, I, I've had more impact than, than I had hoped to have. And, I know the district, and I'm trying to maintain the quality of life in the district at the same time, sort of challenging the status quo in Harrisburg. And the radar bill is a good one. I, mean, I had no idea how much opposition there was to local radar. I mean, it's, it, it amazed me. But um, moving, making Harrisburg change is more difficult than I thought. But I'm doing it too. So the House briefly took a run at trying to shrink itself and went over to the Senate. It didn't work out quite so well. Was that, was that serious or an elaborate practical joke? Well, I, I think what is serious is that the legislature should be smaller in its scope of what we're doing and that, and that uh, we, we shouldn't be spending as much money. I think I'm number 203 out of 203 in spending uh, money. But I mean, those are the things that I think we should do. We, we need to make Harrisburg smaller uh, and give more, you know, send it, let people keep their money, and that would change the legislature too. But I mean, I support it because it's 203 is a lot. But in, if you're going to shrink the House, you should shrink the Senate also. You're co-chairman of the House Republican Campaign Committee this term. Uh, there's at least a half dozen, ten seats that could be on the bubble. How many seats are you bracing for? Well, losing? it's hard to say. I mean, I, we're, we have 25 people leaving, including 22 or something Republican comments that makes it harder. So um, we've got to get to 104 and then 103, and we have to keep the majority. But I'm optimistic that uh, we're certainly going to keep a strong majority. But we're going to lose some seats, and there's no question about it. Governor Tom Wolf released his tax returns this week. We know he made $414,000 in income and gave $1.3 million to charity uh, in 2017. What's Scott Wagner's excuse now for not releasing? Well, my first thought on Governor Wolf's is he took all those deductions, which means you know, he's thinking like conservatives think. If he, if he thought the taxes were okay, he wouldn't have taken the deductions. But look, I, I don't tell people what they should do with their business or not. Um, if Scott Wagner wants to release his tax returns again, I don't, you know, I, I, don't, I don't try to what he, said. he is the nominee of your party. Do you think he owes it to the voters? Yeah, and I don't know if that's a, is, is that something we've done over the years or yes. not, the tradition that, you know, I mean, and, and actually, Scott Wagner, unlike other people, too, I mean, he, he's pretty public. People know what he does, but, I mean, I don't really care how much money he makes. That, that doesn't mean anything to me, but uh, if he wants to release his campaign donations, I think they're probably public. How much money he's spending on his own campaign, that's public, so I don't, it doesn't really bother me one way or another. All right, what's the bottom of the clock? Eagles repeat. Who ends up being starting QB this year? You know, it's it, it, what an exciting season it was, but I, I, mean, I think they're going to go with Wentz, right? I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's, 
that's that's my thought. But it seems to be the case. All right, that's it. State Representative Greg Rothman. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thanks for having me. You bet.